Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We've got something cool to talk about today. We've got the huge ship conversion kit and epic battles, some images floating around out there, because thanks to Shuttle Tidarium Podcast, they, uh, got, I guess they got theirs early and have got the worldwide exclusive on everything that comes in here. So they were kind enough to share uh, a bunch of photos and they're all over Reddit and their Facebook and everything. So big thanks to Shuttle Tidarium Podcast for getting this out. So I want to uh, give them some credit. So I'll also put a link to the uh, Facebook group where they shared this in the description below. But definitely check out Shuttle Tidarium Podcast. And uh, my thanks to them. Very, very nice to uh, basically share this with the community. It's very cool to, when somebody gets something and they don't just keep it all to themselves. Um, also, I do want to remind you guys about Luxury Playstyle. There is a uh, code for... 15% off if you use code Krabok VIP. You can get some of the most amazing tokens you have ever seen right there at luxuryplaystyle.com. You can tailor your order to get only the tokens that you need or go with a bundle. Uh, either way, you can save 15%. So definitely check that out. They make amazing holiday gifts, and we are definitely at that time of year. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these images because uh, first off, look at this. We get So we get all kinds of quick build cards which is nice when we get those for the different factions. And we're going to see, uh, you know, Corvettes for both the Republic and the, uh, Re and the uh, Rebels. We're going to see Raider uh, quick build and Raider uh, quick build for you know, both the Empire and the uh, First Order. And we're going to get this for, uh, you know, basically every version of each ship in each faction. And there's a whole lot to really look at. I'm going to kind of go through it. There's a lot of pictures. I'm just going to kind of run through all of them. Uh, but that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll definitely dig that. Now, uh, a lot of this stuff is stuff we have already seen before. We have seen, I believe, all of these titles already. I think they spoiled most of the titles. Uh, but it is good seeing like how many of certain cards that we're going to get. So you're getting two copies of Corsair Refit right there. Um, we've got our, our Gazanti titles. And we've got our Raider titles. I don't think they've done a full Raider because I don't know if we've seen Instigator yet. Or maybe I'm just forgetting. Uh, that is entirely possible because... I am quite the forgetful guy. But yes, we've got all of our Raider titles. We've got the Luminous and Quantum Storm and Bright Hope. We've uh, seen those already, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we've got our CR90 titles. And this is, of course, in the first article where we were kind of startled at the fact that only the Rebels were getting titles and the, you know, the Republic wasn't. And that's kind of where we learned that, okay, the titles are only for the original faction having the ships. And the, you know, the extra factions... We're going to have to wait because they're probably getting huge ships as well. Uh, we do get a look at Proximity Mines, uh, Quick Release Locks, and, uh, well, I don't think Proximity Mines is new, but Saboteur's Map and the uh, Scanner Baffler. Some of these we've seen already, and, uh, yes, uh, especially Proximity Mines. That one's not exactly new. but uh, And this is also helpful, too, to have all of the text because the points for these have already been released. Uh, we've got Tavana Reserves and Optimized Power Core, and as well as uh, Boosted Scanners. We're getting two copies of each of those. Uh, we do have the actual ship cards. We're getting one copy of each of the ship cards. And what interesting thing is, it looks like you're going to actually be able to field uh, maybe two ships out of this, which is actually pretty surprising. Um, but I like that. I like that they're doing that with the conversion kit. So we've got Ozel, Asmorgan, uh, Nita, uh, Riken, Ramus Antilles, and Jan Dadana. We've got the Stalwart Captain and the Strategic Commander. The Stalwart Captain seems uh, kind of similar to, uh, I believe it's uh, Riken, um, or, or you know, basically if you're destroyed, you stick around. Uh, just like a little bit less. So maybe, you know, like, it's, that's kind of my take on it. It's like probably like the, the budget version. Um, whereas... Uh, Strategic Commander gives you those those three uses, and you know, I, I this one had been spoiled earlier, and some of you had kind of uh, in the comments section. And the cool thing about you know, that's a cool thing about this channel and, and, and interacting is, um, you know, I was thinking, well, you're only going to get to do this three times, but the cool thing is you can do it three times at once. You know, with with three different ships that are all activating at the same time, which is um, which is kind of cool. So I, I guess that. Uh, that still makes it fairly interesting. Um, speaking of comment section too, there is still time to enter to win the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. I'm going to actually be announcing the winner to that tomorrow. 
So make sure you stay tuned. I will be announcing the winner to the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway tomorrow. If you still wanna enter that, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. And there will be more giveaways after that. So if you don't win this one, don't worry. There's, I mean, there's a giveaway going on on Patreon right now uh, for some promo cards. I'm going to be starting another one uh, very, very soon. I'm going to be giving promos away on the channel and on Patreon. So if you want extra chances to win, that's a great place for you to do that. Um, so, you know, very, very cool. A uh, lot of options, lots of giveaways, and maybe some holiday surprises as well as we approach that season. Uh, so we get two copies of Ion Cannon Battery, two copies of Ordnance Tubes, two copies of the uh, Point Defense Battery, two copies of Turbo Laser Battery, and two copies of the Targeting Battery. Or is that Targeting? Yeah. Uh, and of course, two of everything here. So we've got the uh, damage control team, the ITRM, uh, sensor experts, the comms team, the gunnery specialists, and the ordnance team. Uh, we've got Tor only one Torin Far, but she's unique, so you don't really need more than one of her. You got two copies of adaptive shields and bombardment specialists. And then, of course, we have the full damage deck. And I'm not going to go over every card, but you know, if you wanted to read this in detail, um, that's why I'm going to just put the link so you go and show Shuttle Tidarium Podcast some love and uh, check those out. But you get basically there's a, a good look at every damage card there, and as how as well as how many are there. So you know, and, and it's really nice that they took like these detailed photos too. Um, you know, I, I definitely appreciate that. Um, now, here we go with the uh, the cardboard. And, uh, you know, you're getting a couple of tokens. You're getting uh, all of, you, you know, two bases there. And uh, it looks like our Raider and our uh, CR-90 uh, right there. And, of course, the the uh, extended maneuver tool or the extended range tool, rather. Uh, just like very, very, very much like the same one we had in 1.0. Now, if you have the deluxe conversion kit, or the deluxe, um, not conversion kit, the deluxe template temp, uh, kit, you won't need this T template tip. I don't. Anyway, if you if you have the deluxe uh, range tool, then you can just it, ha it comes with five, so you can do that. You won't necessarily need this because these things, when you lock them in there, they get flimsy. And honestly, you don't want to use this. This is all the reason in the world to go get that plastic uh, kit, even if you don't use the templates. If you just use it for the range tool, it's gonna be useful for that. Uh, and then here we go with our, our dials, and uh, we're getting some mines and uh, uh, compartment, some cargo tokens. And, uh, and of course, our, our energy and shield uh, counter. And then, of course, all of our maneuver dials. And so, uh, yes. And, of course, the two bases with one movement tool. This is the new redesigned movement tool that hooks in underneath the base. So really nice bases. And I especially love that the bases are just one piece. That is a very, very good thing. Uh, very pleased with that. And, uh, and, and it's cool that like with one conversion kit, you can run two ships. Um, I don't know if they had said that beforehand, that there was going to be two bases in there. Maybe I just overlooked it, but I thought for sure a conversion kit would just give you one base. Um, and because for everybody, most times in Epic, people would only run one huge ship anyway. It was pretty rare for somebody to run two huge ships unless they were, you know, just doing a, a thematic fun battle. Um, well, most of, you know, most of Epic was like that anyway. But uh, it's really nice to see, um, you know, two so you don't necessarily have to go, you know, quite so uh, crazy with buying multiple conversion kits. Um, and then, of course, they have the, uh, for the wing tool, for the, uh, for out of Epic, uh, we're getting quick builds for entire wings, which is a really, really cool way to run that, um, where, you know, it's outlining your leader, and then another person that's got upgrades, and then a couple of generics. So this is a really advanced type of quick build card that they have for, for your wings. Uh, you know, you've got Luke Skywalker, then a Red Squadron Escort, and then... Uh, with proton torpedoes and then like four more red squadron escorts and you know, um, you know so I like that I like that you're having a little bit of variance within this it's actually pretty pretty cool so uh, that'll be fun uh, and then of course we got some devices uh, that are remotes I believe uh, and and uh, different things for for thematic play uh, for your epic scenarios uh, same thing with we got some turrets. And then some warheads, some slow-moving things that you're gonna wanna you wanna deal with. I believe that's the same. Those that's Armada artwork. Actually, that's enhanced armament and concussion missiles or assault concussion missiles, right? That's what I believe they are. Yeah. Um, 
And then, of course, our, our wing commander tools, uh, or cards, rather, our wing cards. Uh, I think we've seen all of these already. Uh, Dreadnought Hunter being uh, a lot more expensive than I had thought, but uh, if I'm remembering correctly, based because the points for these came out, too. So, uh, yeah, all I think just about everything is public now at this point. And then we're going to get a look at some of the cardboard. It looks like if you're running, um, you know, just... Uh, you know, a four ship wing. You can use the the little crossed one. I'm not sure what the 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 individual like the you know you can't run a two ship wing, right? Not as far as I know. I haven't read through all the rules. Maybe there is rules, that, but I'm curious what those other two are for. They look like almost like speed ones, or almost look like they're good placeholders for ships. Uh, and of course, you could probably also use them for that. And of course, you're going to see a lot of marker stuff too, because you're going to have to mark everything that's in a wing, and they're going to give you lots of tools to be able to do that. And you're seeing, uh, you know, fifteen. Uh, 16, 17, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, right in there. Uh, so, and then of course we're getting all of those for yellow, blue, and red, so you can really uh, mark all of that stuff. And that's that's actually going to be really helpful. And then we're getting two wing tools, which is or two of the big versions of the wing tool, which is really cool. I like this one a lot. I like that you're getting two. I hadn't even thought about how many you're going to get versus how many you'd actually want to run at any given point in time. I don't really see myself running more than two full wings at any given point, so I, I guess I'm okay with that. Um, and then the uh, quick builds, I think uh, I think this one's a duplicate. I think I yeah, I think I got this one twice. So uh, yeah, so that is uh, basically that's a quick rundown of all the stuff uh, that uh, Shuttle Tidarium has shared with the community. So uh, pretty cool, very cool stuff. Big thanks to Shuttle Tidarium Podcast. So be sure and check them out and uh you know stay tuned for more huh this is this stuff should be out very very soon you know should be out wider for the global release uh pretty soon so uh hopefully this will lead to a lot more really cool cinematic and exciting play for your x-wing tabletop especially for your larger groups where you want to have lots of people meet up i'd love to hear from you guys let me know what you think what is your most exciting thing that you're looking forward to out of either of these packs is it to get maybe a, a new cr90 is it maybe to get uh you know big big ships on the table again uh or is it maybe trying to take big ships and play them on a smaller surface since you can now do those on a 3x3 instead of having to do the 3x6 or is it some of the new scenario play that you're going to see in Epic? Is it the wing tool? Is it being able to move six ships with a single dial? Which is actually really cool. Or is it the ability to get multiplayer games? You know, multiplayer games where or, or that free for all format. I think that's I think that's one thing that I'm really looking forward to is the free for all format, uh, especially for that aces high scenario. I really liked that one. All right, guys. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I also want to thank my patrons on Patreon. You guys are amazing. So I want to thank you guys for your continued support. And if you're interested in checking all that stuff out, check out the links in the description below as well as Shuttle Tiberium Podcast. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always. Have a great day.